Which do you see as the more likely storyline out of this earnings? Is it uh, upside for the uh, earnings that we expect to see or possible risk in the guidance? I say upside to earnings. Um, I'm not too concerned about guidance because all of my checks are uh, coming back, particularly for Google and search, particularly for Facebook, uh, social media ad spend, um, Amazon. All of these businesses are operating uh, phenomenally well. And so checks are coming back positive, so I think the second quarter numbers would be good for all three of these names I just mentioned. And I think the guidance would be good for all of them. For Amazon, though, they typically guide conservatively, and I think investors are aware of that. So I would expect a conservative guide, probably below consensus numbers. But I think that's okay. That's, they typically guide below consensus anyway and outperform the following quarter. Denny, uh, it seems like expectations must be pretty healthy given where many of these stocks are trading either at or near all-time highs. What are the key things that you expect uh, on these earnings calls and with these results to move the needle one way or the other? Yeah, I actually think the, the, the more interesting um, element of this earnings season is kind of thinking through it and looking at the valuation. So even though these stocks are at all-time highs, if you actually look at the relative valuations of the names, uh, you know, uh, Alphabet and Facebook, for example, and you compare them to, say, consumer staples names, and you just look out a uh, year and a half to two years, the multiples are actually relatively in line. And so I think you know this earnings season is just a continuation of what we've seen for the last, call it, 18 months, where the secular dynamics are just really strong for uh, most of the names that we've already talked about. And it, we just see a continuation of that. So I expect a, a reasonably healthy earnings season, um, reasonable guidance, and, and effectively a steady drumbeat of, of what we've seen over the last year and a half or so. Victor, Facebook has been turning in some monster quarters lately, and we've seen them really pull away. I mean, I remember we used to talk about Facebook and Twitter. Now we just pretty much talk about Facebook, even right. Snap, um, you know, n not looking so strong growth-wise. What do you expect to be the, the attention for that sort of company, that class of company, your Facebook, your Amazon, to some extent your Netflix? Um, is, is there a certain fundamental number, subscriber numbers that are really going to drive uh, how investors feel about these juggernauts? Well, I think for Facebook in particular, we'll focus on just the advertising revenue growth number. Whether that number accelerates again uh, will be a key de determinant factor in, in uh, whether or not the stock continues to run. It's had an impressive run so far, but it's still trading at a discount so the growth rate, 30% EBITDA growth rate over the next three years versus a 14 times EBITDA, EBITDA multiple. So it's still trading at a discount of growth, but they will need, I think for the stock to outperform, they will need to re-accelerate revenue growth, advertising revenue growth, and healthy usage numbers. So that's for Facebook. Google, I expect somewhat the same strong top line growth rate. Search is resilient, it's healthy in the face of competition from social media. YouTube just continues to grow like weeds from all the data I'm looking at. They seem somewhat unfazed by the ad backlash recently. And then you have the optionality of moon shoots and you have uh, the cloud services business, which is um, growing very, very strong for them. So I think they'll turn into a very, very strong quarter. But I really, for these stocks, since they've had um, such a strong, strong uh, uh, upside so far this year, Amazon and Facebook in particular, not, not so much for Google, um, you need re-acceleration of revenue growth for these stocks to continue to outperform significantly over the coming next six months. Reacceleration of revenue growth at, at this size, uh, Victor, I mean, is that something you're counting on or you think is likely? I think it's possible for Facebook. I think it's possible for Amazon. Some of the data I've been looking at, tracking data, that shows a very, very healthy usage trends for both Facebook, Instagram, Amazon. Um, Google, I think it's less likely, but I still like the stock. It's a cheap multiple stock, um, hasn't really appreciated it as much. But then you have a business that, like I said, you know, search, YouTube, these are all secular strong growers for them, good management team, good corporate governance, solid balance sheet, multiple different um, avenues for them to continue to grow, and you have the optionality of the moon on the moonshots. I think the risk are manageable. The EU fine, I think, was de minimis. Um, they may appeal it, they may not. If they do, it's not a big deal. I think that goes on. So um, that's the one company I think um, I would invest in longer term if I were to pick one out of the three, um, mm -hmm. given some of the secular dynamics. But the other two, very, very good companies. These are the companies that have transformed the way we communicate, transform the way we search for things, transforms the way we shop. So you cannot go wrong by owning any of these names, even though they've appreciated so much. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.